tonight from Las Vegas, Nevada. Super Bowl 58. Cincinnati Bengals taking on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The CD, the Bengals, they're back for the second time in three years looking for that first ever Super Bowl title. Can you believe they're 0-3 in the big game? Two losses to the Niners in the 80s, two really tough ones, and a loss to the Rams in 2022. Their motivation, sky high. They're ready to bring that first title back to Cincinnati. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they're trying to pull off what only three teams have done before, go from Super Bowl losers to Super Bowl champions. Last team to do that, the Patriots, Super Bowl 52 and 53. Before that, you've got to go back to the Dolphins in Super Bowls 5 and 6, and the Cowboys in Super Bowls 4 and 5. The 2023 season has one game left. Here we go. Super Bowl 58 underway from Vegas. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here are the Bengals on offense, and here is Joe Burrow ready to lead them at quarterback. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid, but he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played, and his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. Second down, here's Burrow. He completes it to Boyd. And Boyd gonna pick up a Bengals first down as he's down inside the 15. You look at the Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know, but what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose, and that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla, but once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're gonna do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. Now it's Burrow. Touchdown! T. Higgins from eight yards out. And the Bengals are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Striking first in any game is very important, but on this stage, the biggest of stages in the Super Bowl, that's huge. You fully expect the other team to battle all the way through, but when you're the one setting the pace, jumping out in front, that has to feel great for the entire organization. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. And he's got it to make it 7-0 Bengals. 
So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was T. Higgins who capped the drive with the touchdown reception. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. As we begin the Super Bowl, we are looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Third and two. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. On second down, Swift. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Throwing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 43. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Now this air mail to the sideline. It's incomplete. And there don't appear to be any flags forthcoming. Maybe a little fortunate there. It's third down. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's taken down inside the 30. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. But first down, Hurts. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. A.J. Brown with an acrobatic catch. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. And Charles, the defender, was there. He just didn't get it. Sometimes these plays turn into basketball, in a sense, with two guys going up for the football. Which guy's going to box the other away from it and grab it? Yeah, I know you hear it a lot, but it's just the will to get it, right? Oh, without a doubt, the will, as well as some really nice touch on the ball that was thrown. And some talent, too. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And their dreams of an undefeated season shattered with the loss a week ago. Now look, whenever an undefeated team goes down, you always hear some say, well, they needed that. I don't know, Charles. Is that a narrative that you buy into? Well, I haven't met a coach yet that feels like they needed that loss. You know, that's not something that they're in favor of. But I do know this. People like us, our colleagues, all of us in the media, constantly hammering a team that's undefeated. Hey, do you think you can do it the whole season? Can you carry it the whole way? That does wear down a group. And sometimes that loss, get us off your back, you can move forward from there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Burrow throw. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Here's Burrow. On the screen, this is Evans. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Boyd. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. Greg Ward deep for Philadelphia. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game. Swift is hit, and he coughs it up. And the Bengals grab it. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Hurts sets up to throw it. Over the middle, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They go play action with Hertz. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So 
So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. On the option to give to Swift here. And down to the 41. From the 41, here's a second and seven. They'll drop to throw. This to Arnold on the short pass. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. In motion, the tight end. On first and 10, it's Swift. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. Second and two, first down marker at the eight. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Swift going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Eagles have taken the lead. So second and goal there from the one, they go to the air. And the perfect down to throw the football in this sequence. Second down is always kind of the, do they throw it, do they run it? They worked it out to perfection on that one by throwing it into the end zone. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 14-7 is the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10.
Now it's Burrow. He'll flip this out to Evans. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw caught by Higgins. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution. They are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And Burrow going to throw again. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Here's second and 10. Burrow looking to pass. And this is caught by Evans. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Here is third down and four. Now Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. So on fourth down, off goes Burrow. On comes Evan McPherson for the Bengal field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. McPherson's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. DeAndre Swift and the Eagles back out there. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Second down, here's Hertz. Finds the open target, Arnold. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First and 10, it's Hurts. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now it's second and 10. Play action. Here's Hertz. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson. And to the 40 yard line, that's where the return stops. He's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. He's got Smith here. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow goes right back to Smith again. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. 
short throw to Smith. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. So from the 25, this is second and five. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. is into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. McPherson on for the point after. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. Five plays there on that drive, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so try to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say, it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback. Birds fumbles it, and the Bengals grab it, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. And this is one of the dangers of letting your quarterback run the football. Now, look, he goes through ball security drills just like a running back does, but most of the time the quarterback swings the ball away from his body, and in traffic, sometimes they forget to protect it. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. It's a quick turnaround for him after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings us with all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run here with Gainwell. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Dan Arnold from four yards out. And the Eagles have regained the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown.
Elliott on for the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Now a throw here, hauled in. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll try and run for it with Evans. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there. And it helps him move the sticks. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. He'll look to throw. Throw left side complete to Chase. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. And they go play action now. Burrow. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 36. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Out of the gun, a give to Evans. Stops short of the 25. The second effort couldn't free him. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Now the Bengals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try and run for this with Evans. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now Burrow on first down. It's caught, Smith. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. 
Now second and five. He'll drop to throw. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning to points for the other side. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Smith, the man in motion left. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The Eagles on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. Looking to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Man open left side is Brown. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. Hurts. Trying to lay one up deep. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Daxton Hill picks it off. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Well, the Bengals offense getting set and ready to go again here. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover as they'll try to get some points here before halftime. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's going to get this inside the 30. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. Here's second and five now from the 22. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. On the draw, Evans. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. Burrow 
will throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Smith. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Now it's Burrow. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Here's Burrow. That is caught. Touchdown, Bengals. Herb Smith, Jr. from 13 yards out. And the Bengals will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today it's track shoes, because that's what we've seen <laughs> with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And the Eagles going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. We saw a strong first half out of the quarterback, Joe Burrow. He's got two touchdown passes already, but he's also thrown two interceptions. So it was feast or famine whenever his guys had the football. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to be a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. Now an option play on second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. Stays on his feet. Now, they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline, 
and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. The throw over the middle taken in and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Back to the running game with Swift. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Now a second and six. Hurt sets up to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as he'll get this down to the 41. But first down, Hurts. Over the middle to Smith. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 37, they work on second and six. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got him. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. They run out of the gun with Swift. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Down to the 25. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And they snap him short of the first as he can only get to the 20. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. This certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They go for it on fourth and two, and it's a gain of six. Throwing is Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. DeAndre Swift, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. Elliott good on the extra. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. 
And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. On second down, Burrow. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now it's Burrow. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They'll set up to throw over the middle complete. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. So they go from 142-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Burrow looking to pass. Complete. Smith has it. And he's taken down inside the 30. To the air again, Burrow. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Uh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. It's zone coverage, so he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him, and he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Here's a second and five now from the 25. They'll look to throw here. This to Arnold on the short pass. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. 
Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. He stiff arms him. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Second down in the yard. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 41. Now this going to be a quarterback draw. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 23. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Back to throw now on first down. Steps away to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They'll run the draw here with Swift. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Bengals are right back in this football game. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 46. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Here we go, here we go. Uh -huh. 
Burrow on play action. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the big man. Get the oxygen tank ready. Down to the 10. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return. And an eagle